Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special spirit reading and message. And I call these special and I put it in a special playlist. This is when I am guided to do a reading that is not the norm. And so it's piggybacking on a spirit message. So we're definitely going to tap into the Archangel connection and go in deep. And so it is to go in deep to carry with you. So definitely watch this when you have time because this is going to go in depth and it's probably going to be a longer reading and it is something so we can deeply connect with the archangels which archangels want to connect deeply with us and it's for us to feel it deeply and carry it with us so that's the purpose of this reading so we're going to take our time with this i'm actually going to dive into three decks and we're also going to dive into the guidebooks to be guided on how to connect deeply with these archangels that want to come through literally they're saying to connect deeply with so deep to feel it deeply and carry it with you. So we're going to tap into first the angelic light work oracle. We're going to tap into one of four archangels and be guided to connect with them more deeply to carry with us. So we're literally going to hold it in our hearts. Um, what wants to come through? We're going to tap into the archangel fire to carry with us. Um, what traits almost, what to embody, what the energy of the archangel that we can embody the fire of that archangel almost in our spirit to carry with us. Wow, I see where this is going as I'm doing this. And then we're going to end it with Archangel messages for goddesses. Um, the Archangels that want to come through and leave their lasting messages to carry with us. So we're going to get right into it. I am so excited to do I dropped everything to do this reading. Um, it was not planned. So I, that's when I have chills again because just saying that because I feel like there are messages that want to come through for us to carry, to feel deeply and carry with us with whatever we're doing in the physical. Um, so let's get into it. So just clear out and get ready to receive. Just open your mind and heart and just get ready to receive love support backing. It's really love support backing. And I that's bringing tears to my eyes. So there's some things that they want to, us to feel deeply and carry with us in our spirit as we go forward with everything that we're doing. They're ready when I say that. Okay, so let's see the first archangel. Hear the sirens. I almost feel like this is help for us here. Um, yeah, okay, so let's just see what archangels want to come through and connect with us. Yeah, let's just see. I'm taking my time. i got to slow down. I'm very excited, but at the same time, I just want to be completely relaxed and get ready to receive the love and support that really, wa really wants to come through. Peaceful prosperity. We have two cards that they want us to deeply resonate. And we have had so many messages about abundance. This is no surprise that this is coming out. Peaceful prosperity. And the other card that they want us to connect to is pattern breaker. Pattern breaker. So wow, wow, wow. And look at the number three is pattern breaker. And 40 is what we're building with them. Peaceful prosperity. Pattern breaker. So these are going to be powerful things that they want us to carry forth with us probably as we're going forward for more abundance the pattern breakers they're helping us to be that um in order to have this okay so let's get into it we're going to tap in really deep to this card now so uh, let's see what way archangel is blessing this i'm already guided to feeling which archangel it is let's see if it is i'm so curious Yes, I knew it was. Okay, so here we go. We're going to tap into Peaceful Prosperity. That was the first card. Healing fear requires love. Healing fear requires love. Fear might relate to financial security, abandonment, hurt, or losing a loved one, cherished treasure, or a rare opportunity. To the insecure and uncertain part of us, Fear might seem like the most sensible response, as though it will protect us. In reality, fear is counterintuitive. We keep on getting this about surrendering the fear. It closes us off and it prevents us from remaining open to the abundance and generosity of the universe. At times, we need to decide whether we will give in to fear and put off our growth to another day. This is always our choice to make. Instead, we can move into the realm of the heart and choose to remain open, ask for clarity, and run the joyful, challenging risk of becoming more fully alive. Your commitment to your aliveness will manifest what is best for 
you. Many gifts lie unopened on the path ahead. Ask for what is rightfully yours and continue to make your journey with peaceful knowledge in your heart. And here is the healing magic and manifestation with Archangel Uriel. Cross the threshold into the sacred by closing your eyes, breathing deeply, and dropping into a peaceful, loving connection with your heart. When you feel connected to your heart, and this is everything we've been getting lately on my channel, if you're familiar, that night of Raphael that they're encouraging us to walk and make our moves heart-based. Listen to this. When you feel connected to your heart, say aloud, Archangel Uriel, I am honored and open-hearted in your presence. I gratefully acknowledge the abundance, prosperity, sacred manifestation, and countless blessings that you bring for the greatest good of all. You support the embodiment of divine light. I am ready and willing to receive your healing and guidance to fulfill my inner potential for the spiritual benefit of all beings. I trust you to hold and protect the sacred space for healing according to divine will. So be it. So be it. Hold your preferred hand over your heart and imagine, intend, visualize, or feel. See how they're saying this is to feel deeply and already it's getting right to it. Hold your preferred hand over your heart. Imagine, intend, visualize, or feel a luminous shining gold light gather and grow from within you now. Feel it expand until it creates a vibrant circle of light around you and trust that it is there, whether you sense it consciously or not. The sacred circle holds you comfortably within it. It can be as large or as small as it feels comfortable for you. And within the sacred space, you are held, protected, and supported for your process. Look at this golden light. You are held and supported in this process. Held, protected, supported for your process. Yes, the light and presence of Archangel Uriel shine through the circle of gold light and fill the space within it with loving and powerful divine energy. The circle can transform into other shapes, an egg, a sphere, a pyramid, a column of light, or it can remain as a circle and still accomplish its purpose of holding sacred space for your healing and manifestation practice. To call forth the Archangel, repeat Archangel Uriel for as long as it feels right. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel. You can sing, you can chant, you can speak loudly or gently. You can even just say this in your mind. I usually say it in my mind. Whatever helps you focus and feel the heart connection to Archangel Uriel. As you repeat the name, imagine, intend, or feel the presence of Archangel Uriel increase in the sacred space. Now it is time to express your intention for the practice. It might be a specific issue or a desire to connect and allow angelic wisdom to do whatever it needs according to higher will. When we speak from the heart, sometimes we can feel like we are finally dropping into our truth out of confusion and beginning to gain some clarity and reconnect to our inner power. And it was all about our inner power, right? It can be such a relief. If you are offering this healing on behalf of another, dedicate it by saying, honoring free will, I offer this healing to, and they say, say your name, but I'm going to say to all who are watching and listening right now, Honoring free will, I offer this healing to all of you who are watching and listening. May any resident res residual energy of this be sent to wherever it can do the most good. So I'm offering this healing to all of you who are watching and healing and watching and healing and watching and listening. May any residual energy of this be sent to wherever it can do the most good. That's why they're saying our energy is so important. Even in the actions of what we're doing, the energy gets used. The prayer, beloved Archangel Uriel, I now choose to be clear of inherited programs. Look at this pattern breaker. Yes, I. this is so powerful. Beloved Archangel, I now choose to be clear of inherited programs and belief systems about money, survival, fear, and abundance. This is the pattern breaker. That's what they're helping us to do, to rise up and be in our inner power. We're greater than that. They're helping us to be greater than that and shift out of that fear. You now choose to be clear of inherited programs and belief systems about money, survival, fear, and abundance. I choose to believe in the unlimited supply of divine resourcefulness 
which will flow into my open and generous heart. I choose this freely and am granted whatever is needed to take the next steps on my divine journey. I do not need to hold on to anything out of fear of loss. I trust that as I relax and open my heart, your healing golden light will continue to cleanse me of the patterns that limit what I can receive and open me to a trusting and playful relationship with the universe. You now bring peace to my mind so that my heart can be free to concentrate on that which feels joyful and passionately purposeful. I redirect energies of worry into prayers of confident request and joyful surrender. I take my next steps with patience, trust, and confidence that all will unfold at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Is that superseding this? Absolutely. Is that giving us the power to pattern break? Yes. This is what they want us to connect with deeply and carry with us. So, wow. Despite what's going on. And this has been a recurring message if you haven't seen the last three readings. But this is like an explanation mark. And that's why I have chills because I feel like this is the explanation mark of all that was coming through. See, sense, or feel the golden light swirling around the base of your spine, legs, and feet deep into the earth beneath you. That golden light clears out your base chakra and helps you recognize that you belong here on earth. You belong here on earth. It's about to be 11, 11 on this video. This golden light clears out your base chakra and helps you recognize that you belong here on earth no matter what happened in your family of origin. You have a path and purpose and will be supported to fulfill them in all ways. Allow this golden light to soothe and release the fears and anxiety you have held about money or any form of physical and emotional support. Let this new energy soak in and reprogram, here's pattern breaker, reprogram your base chakra with frequencies that support prosperity and harmony with your heart. Trust enhances this process. Return to this exercise as often as you need. Learning to lean into this new program, now replacing the old viewpoints. Now it's time to ground and dedicate the practice. Focus on the flow of your breath and the weight of your body and where it connects with the chair or floor can be a good way to ground conscious movements of the hands and feet or drawing your awareness to the air's temperature on your skin can also be grounding these things help bring your attention back into the here and now dedicate your work by saying may the energies generated here today bring spiritual benefit to all beings may any excess energy be sent to where it can do the most good and so be it Place your hands on your heart and say, this work is now sealed and complete. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. To close the practice, visualize, imagine, feel, or intend that the sacred circle of golden light is dissolving into the earth. This nourishes the earth and fertilizes your work so it can come to life for the greatest good. You have completed your process. Now it is time to settle and allow the work to unfold in angelic grace. And we're going right back here. I have chills and I felt that. And you're going to feel it in your core. This is not just for the minutes that we're reading this, but we're going to be carrying this with us. We're going to be carrying and working this out with us beyond this reading. I'm just telling you that right now. Um, okay, so now the next one is Pattern Breaker. And you can see this said, lean into this. Lean into this new process of, of this because we are breaking patterns now. Pattern Breaker. Yes, of what held this back. So patterns in thought and behavior can be comforting and even support manifestation and success. However, even patterns that were once helpful can become sabotaging and we may need to outgrow them so we can step forward on our path. If we want to change a pattern but have been unable to do so, it can take on an addictive quality. Beneath any addiction is a helpful message that is yet to be fully received. This oracle brings the comfort that Archangel Michael can support you in resolving unhelpful patterns. You are going to access an important message from your inner wisdom, which will help you move forward with clarity and confidence. Here we go. Begin by placing your right hand in your heart and thinking about what you feel gratitude, happiness, or love for in your life, and then say it loud, out loud, Archangel Michael, you bring the strength, will, and protection of sacred fire. You can't make this up. We're going to be tapping into the sacred fire deck next. You cannot make this up. 
Archangel Michael, you bring the strength, will, and protection of sacred fire to me now for the greatest good of all. Sacred fire brings the healing gifts of cleansing, freedom from the past, and renewal. So I may experience a new chapter in my life. Please hold and protect the sacred space for healing to happen according to divine grace. I open my heart to you, my dear angelic friend. Please empower and bless the sacred work. So be it. And now they're saying, as you hold your hand over your heart, you can visualize, imagine, intend, or pretend that a deep indigo blue light forms a sacred circle around you. And this circle can be as small or as large as it feels right for you. Let it sit around hip level as the light of that circle shines in all directions. It feels good to be in that circle. It feels powerful and positive. And you can support this process with your words saying, a sacred circle of divine protection now forms around me in divine indigo light. Take a moment to repeat Archangel Michael at least several times for as long as it feels good for you. Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael. You can sing, chant, whisper, or speak boldly or loudly. Whatever suits your heart in that moment is best. As you repeat the angelic name, you can imagine and tender feel that you are increasing the presence of Archangel Michael within your heart and your sacred space and set your intention now by expressing the reason you are doing this healing. You can speak to Archangel Michael like you're speaking to a trustworthy friend. If you aren't sure why you're doing the healing, but you know you need some help, then express that. Please note, if you're doing this healing on behalf of another Ask their permission first. If that's not practical, then this is what you say. I'd like to offer this healing to blank. And I'm saying I'd like to offer this healing to all who are listening and watching. Yes, so that it can do the most good. Read the guidance below to complete the process and add in your own prayers or whatever feels right to you. And this is your practice and your relationship with Archangel Michael. Let it feel authentic and trust that no matter what, you are divinely loved. And the prayer is, Beloved Archangel Michael, you know my heart and soul are pure and in need of love and healing. Wherever I have become lost and confused, I give you permission to love me, be with me, and guide me toward what I truly yearn for and need. Please lift me above the heavy habits that have weighed down my heart and help me see how I can help myself and receive the love I need and deserve. With your presence, I remember that my heart is courageous and I can live my life in all of its mystery, even in the face of uncertainty, I know I'm safe. And you hear the sirens again? Within your presence, I remember that my heart is courageous and I can live my life in all of its mystery. And even in the face of uncertainty, I know I'm safe. I open to my inner wisdom and receive the clarity and messages I need in the perfect way at the perfect time, supported by your spiritual protection. Now place your hand on your heart and allow yourself to feel the warmth there. Imagine that the beloved Archangel Michael sees you, loves you, is smiling at you, encouraging you, even when you feel alone. Now this has come out over and over again. You're not alone. T kept on talking about quiet angels. So they wanna be seen. They want you to connect more deeply and feel that more deeply. So here they are, right? This is Archangel Michael who sees you, who loves you, who's smiling at you, who's encouraging you. Even when you feel alone, you are spiritually held and loved and never judged. Remember we had released judgments. You're forever loved, you're never alone. This is who is saying these messages to you. If you can, allow yourself to feel the peace of that for some moments. That is why they're saying to feel this deeply and carry with you. It literally says, if you can allow yourself to feel the peace of that for some moments, like carry this with you, allow that peace in your heart to grow so strong and feel the loving light of Archangel Michael wrap around you as if you are receiving an angelic hug. You might feel safe enough to express any emotions that need to be released Explore what it is like for you to be on your own and yet not feel alone. Connecting to a deep love that is always with you may bring up emotions that surprise you. You may feel uncertainty about whether you are worthy of such unconditional love or profound grief that you did not know it was there for you when you needed it in the past. Allow any feelings to arise and then feel free to let them go. You are here now, loved, and everything is going to be okay. When you're ready, it's time to ground yourself. Become aware of your feet connecting to the earth. Imagine the energy around your head beginning to settle around your heart, your belly, your legs, your feet. 
Don't just imagine this, feel it happening. Imagine that your connection between your feet and the earth is so strong that if someone tried to push you over, you wouldn't fall. You are so strongly rooted to the earth. This has been helping us to really stay grounded and rooted in this no matter what, then say from my grateful heart, I thank you, Archangel Michael, this secret work is now complete. May the energies generated here today bring spiritual benefit to all human beings. May any, any excess, may any excess energy be sent to where it can do the most good, so be it. Now finally, visualize, imagine, or pretend that the sacred circle of light you created dissolves into the earth. It takes all the delicious divine energies and grounds them according to your intention and higher divine wisdom. And so it is. They are so helping us to to hold this and carry this forward. This is so beautiful. And if you haven't seen the last couple of readings, and this is such the added messages to help carry, to feel it deeply and carry with us. That's what they said. Now we're literally, they talked about the sacred fire and here's sacred fire. You can't make this up. So what Archangel sacred fire they want us to hold in our spirit as we go forward. What Right away, the Archangel Brachiel, Brachiel, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're getting forth 14. Hold on. We're going to tap in and get the spirit message. That's the message to embody what they want us to embody. She looks like she's so hard at work balancing everything. Um, hold on a second. I'm so curious. Oh my goodness. That before just so moved me. I have to come back in. This is fulfillment. 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 Oh my goodness. This is for fulfillment. This is why to feel it deeply and carry it with you for fulfillment for fulfillment and look at how much she's gracefully doing all this in the physical it's for fulfillment beautiful barakiel's name means blessings of god blessings of god she is the archangel charged with bringing happiness to our family life and overseeing matrimony and parenthood like the Guatemalan woman on her card, she is often shown carrying a basket of bread and the staff of life to symbolize fertility and abundance. And here we have peaceful prosperity, pattern breaker, and this is the fulfillment of it. This is why they want us to carry this for fulfillment. Yes, so this symbolizes fertility and abundance. She helps us to provide for ourselves and for our children. And this is why to step into your power to provide for yourself, for others, your children, and to find the right partner to have children with if we so desire. This card helps to strengthen all our family and close relationships, also known as the Angel of Lightning. Yes, Barakiel is said to grant blessings for your good deeds swiftly, and she brings you success, especially in games of chance. She is sometimes depicted holding an ancient sacred book, which is said to contain the instructions for living a good life. Oh my God, I'm getting tears. She is sometimes depicting holding an ancient sacred book, which is said to contain the instructions for living a good life. The white rose is symbolic of her blessings. Barakiel is a light-hearted angel. She inspires laughter when you call upon her. She reminds us that despite the hardships of life, we can find hidden blessings everywhere. And are you ready for this? The message is it's time to bring some lightness back into your life and relationships. Put any difficult conversations or decisions aside for a while and enjoy time with your family and your loved ones. And how you can meet this Barakiel for help Try this prayer. Dearest Barakiel, may your love support and may your love support and grow blessings and abundance in our lives and dissolve any harm to over oh my gosh. This is an amazing okay, this is the prayer. Sorry about this, but it's like wow. This is really piggybacking. May your love support grow blessings and abundance in our lives and dissolve any harm to ourselves, our families, loved ones, and children. Help us to grow richer in love, in wisdom, and fulfillment every day. Imagine you're being engulfed by this angel's ray. Soak up this beautiful light and see this flame surrounding your family, your home, amplifying feelings of contentment. This is diamond fire alchemy, the bread of abundance. 
Close your eyes and call upon Barakiel to fill your life, especially your family and home life with abundance. This is about abundance. They said peaceful prosperity, pattern breaker. Here's the fulfillment of that with this angel. Picture your life as it would be with everything you need in order to be happy. See your life as through as though your prayers for your perfect soulmate, your ideal career, financial rewards, and a happy home life are already totally fulfilled. As your worries about love, money, and abundance evaporate, feel any stress and tension rapidly dissolving. Imagine her floating above you, your life, your loved ones, sending golden brown loaves of bread from her basket to each of you. As the bread falls, it transforms into huge, bright, white rose petals. We had white rose petals in, the, in one of these cards also. The loaves break open into huge, bright, white rose petals. The petals tickle your face, making you chuckle. You're now able to laugh at any hardships of misunderstandings, seeing them as blessings or illusions. The petals continue to fall around you and over you, and as they gently land on your shoulders, they activate your angel wings. Your angel wings, which turn a magnificent sparkling white. Visualize or intend now that your wings are enfolding your parents, your siblings, your partner or children, and all your loved ones. And as you do so, your wings act as a powerful magnetic force, drawing to you and your loved ones all the blessings and all the abundance they need for their happiness. Know your needs will always be met. Thank Barakil and open your eyes. I have chills everywhere. Become the angel Barakil. They're asking you to become this angel. See those wings? Become that angel. Barakil's message is to lighten up, quote unquote, lighten up, particularly when it comes to our home lives, our family, our relationship. Laughter is the best medicine and who better to share it with than your nearest and dearest. When life gets heavy or we find ourselves under pressure to earn a living and provide for ourselves and others, Barakil can help us to slow down, to smell the roses, appreciate the little things in life so we can feel secure and find fulfillment in each and every moment. This opens up space to invite in more ease and abundance. And when it comes to partnerships and families, this angel says it's essential to have a light hearted attitude and keep a sense of humor within your interactions. Lightening up is about taking the pressure off a situation so you're free to enjoy each other's company again without the need for high expectations. When things get stressful, stop work. Put the bills aside and go for a walk or play a game. Change your perception to change your life. Wow. Wow. This is all about the solar plexus. This is igniting your solar plexus. This is healing qualities of power, confidence, charisma, strong will, leadership, qual clarity, humor, joy, fun, confidence, empowerment, self-esteem. Again, Yes, the star of the queen. This is all about you becoming this angel and use it for your own good and the good of everyone that you're touching in your life. This is beautiful. This is the angel that's working with you. Wonderful for abundance. We're now going to talk into the blessings, Archangel Oracle cards for goddesses and blessings, right? For us to carry this forward. What are the added Archangel messages just to carry forward at the end of this reading to top it off? blessing this reading and what should we carry what are the messages the last archangel messages that want to be seen and in our hearts as we go forward and become this angel that we're a carrier of this angel and you're being blessed to be more of that in your life oh my goodness okay this is really powerful i'm gonna have to watch this back myself so the number one card that literally just flew out um right away you cannot make this up is mission i have chills it's mission it is mission it is mission. So make no doubt about it. This whole point was this. You are in the physical, like strengthen your wings, know what you're connected to, connect deeply to the messages that came forward and carry that with you. Embody that as you're walking in the physical because you're, it's affecting you and, and your loved ones and everyone around you. And it is your mission to carry this and do that in, your, in the physical. This is, this is why. And again, it's Archangel Michael. You, I am shaking you connecting to the higher realms. You cannot make this up, people. You cannot make this up. This is not a mistake that you're watching. I'm shaking so much it can hardly contain. You connecting to the higher realms like you're doing now activates your mission. 
What's inside your heartfelt truth reveals your life purpose. Connect to sensing more of what feels better to you overall. Let the revisions be fun and freeing and celebrate the inner discoveries and preferences you're realizing. You're being divinely moved. You're being divinely used. You connecting to the higher realms right now activates your mission like you're doing now. I cannot even believe this card is saying that I'm shaking so much. What's inside your heartfelt truth? Remember the gift I'm saying, follow your heart. Just follow your heart. It could be different from everybody else, right? Hold true to your heart. Follow your heart. It's your, it, what's inside your heartfelt truth reveals your life purpose. Connect to, and they literally said this is reading is to deeply feel and connect to and carry with you. Connect to sensing more of what feels better to you. That's your clue. What feels better to you? Let the revisions be fun and freeing. Celebrate the inner discoveries and preferences you're realizing. This is your mission. And that is why I'm doing this reading. This is activating your mission. I wish you the best. This has been the Archangel's deep connection to connect with and carry with you. Wow. I take care. Bye-bye.